Glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. He's like, yo, it's okay to be weak, it'll be a hindrance, but you can't stay that way. Work together, get stronger. Good day, good day, good day. Celebathian here, and we're back with another reaction today. Today we're continuing up Orient Season 2, Episode 8. And last time we had the fateful battle of Naoe and Seroku. It was like every moment in that battle that Naoe had the upper hand, Seroku kind of came out with like more and more things. Like first he had his, his strings and then like even after his strings were neutralized, this guy's like, you must not think of me as much of a swordsman. And then just started slicing up Naoe, right? Ultimately in the end, it, it only took Naoe like one real good strike to take him down and it was a heavy one. Just a straight big ass dragon sword right to the chest. We had the uh, kind of the precursor to Takeda and Shiru's battle you know um we had we had Takeda kind of like pissing him off a little bit saying you know the obsidian goddess I hate that woman and then ended up revealing that his his blade energy is actually white blade ring energy I thought it was some weird like gray black obsidian power that he was using it was te technically like grayish black a little bit so I don't know, but we're not gonna waste any time. Let's just get started. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and consider checking out the Patreon for full uncut reactions of this anime and many, many other things. We're not gonna waste any time though. Let's get started with Orient Season 2, Episode 8. Let's go. <laughs> I really hope in this episode they kind of start addressing Blade Energy, giving us some more info on this shit. まあ、それに比べてあんたは一番平凡な正当物資。俺は青い気鉄塔は好きだけど、正当物資は戦う相手としては一番退屈だな。なってけどどう、なってけど。で、本当大変なんだな。外れかな。<笑><笑><笑> Clash! Let's go! <laughs> I think Takeda this episode is gonna really show us what a uh, blue baited Bushi can really do, right? <laughs> nah, man! It, it overcame it pretty badly there. Uh, I really want somebody to take this guy down a peg, Shiro! He's always so damn confident! I think this is an important battle for Kojiro to watch. Watch what a real leader, blue bladed Bushi can really do. Chosen few. You said that last time. Stop, re keep, stop repeating your shit, man. You were. You really were, man. <laughs> I want to see what Takeda did here. なにも落ち込むことはね。俺たち正統武士にも特別な力があるんだ。正統武士は陶器の扱いに長けているだろう。騎士たちは鉱石の力を使って火や水を操っているんだ。鉱山の石に宿る力を自在に引き出して、神
中の鉱石があいつに反応しているそれで鬼神みたいにできるのか極みこの程度が団長の技が切られた邪魔が入らない場所へ行こうちょっと期待外れっていうか俺には効かなかったね鬼神のサルマネしか正当武士ってのは強くなる手段がなかったからか惨めだなそうだな鬼神の真似だけではお前に勝てない<笑> A damn blade energy reset god? Yo, yo. でもここなら存分に使えそうだ Please do not hold back この力は鬼神の角を折るためのものじゃないぜ俺はなお前たち8人に、oh, This is for killing you bastards なぜ俺がこの力を磨いたかってお前だよお前を切るために俺は技を磨き続けてきたんだ面白そうだ切れるかな It's already done. It's already done. Please humble this piece of shit. I like him a lot because of his cockiness, but he's too cocky. He just talks so much shit. Takeda's attack was so strong that it broke his void. Like, wherever they were, he came back. I figured that so that he wouldn't be able to take him off, take him down. Oh. I didn't even realize that, but it seems like the Obsidian 8 has like a cool naming scheme where they have the first two letters in I. Inuda, Inukawa, um, what's it called? Inuka, or whatever. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use the tool for a long time. The fight is going to be a little bit of a pain. Oh, it's gone! I'm going to get it! This is getting really interesting though. If you guys are going to be able to do it, you're going to be bad. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to do it for you guys. あいつに負けた時から俺は何も強くなってないあの力が使えりゃ戦えるかもと思ってたけど But he can use that power he just doesn't realize it yet 陶器をつないで敵に勝つミチルの親父を倒すにはそれっきゃねえこいつらと一緒に鬼鉄刀で戦えるように今なるんだ現実は厳しい<笑>仲間の中にも実力差はある弱いやつは足手まといになるおい<笑>マコもすげえ強いじゃねえか<笑>当然だだがここに来て島津明宏は僕たちにろくに指示も出さない That's true You can't fight like that So he's assuming command and taking over man This is a personal vendetta for Katsumi So he definitely needs to make sure this works あれすっかり二つに分かれてるここにミチルが I wonder if Masashi will assume command <笑>体の中の石がドキドキしてるここは淡路島の鉱脈の最深部だ私の計画はここで身を結ぶ<笑>何でもありません否定されたような He is rejecting her 大地に打ち捨てられた死がない小石の一粒何かとても大切なことを思い出しそうな気がするでもとっても辛そうだからお父様これは証明せねばならない
私こそが最も優れた存在になれるということ。This sicko! He, got, he hated being called weak! He's gonna try to make himself into like a weird amalgamation with the Yamata no Orochi. Hey, I'm going to go to the Yamata no Orochi. I'm going to go to the Yamata no Orochi. I'm going to go to the Yamata no Orochi. I'm going to go to the Yamata no Orochi. I'm going to go to the Yamata no Orochi. I'm going to go to the Yamata no Orochi. I'm going to go to the Yamata no Orochi. And that's what all this Akihiro guy cares about. Glory. But it makes sense why he's doing it because he doesn't want the family to get killed, right? And be replaced by the adopted son. I really like this demeanor that, that he's pulling. Shimazu Fuyuye kun ni, Tokisame kun, Tadayuki kun, Sore ni Natsuki kun daro? Kuroko san ni kiitan da yo. Naze son no koto? Nande kana? Because he wants to work with them, man. Not fight with them. The way that they keep pushing him away, but he wants to. He wants everybody to work together. I know, my own mite. Sgoina. Oremo anna fu ni narita ina te omotara. That's what the Obsidian Goddess told him back then. And it's very true as Bushi. That's why she created Kitetsu. Yo, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Uh, yeah, not good. Not good. Look at his eyes, man. He's already fused with one of, fused with the Kishin, man. The Kishin is inside me in a very, very dirty way. <laughs> okay, hold on. He just said it required sacrificing my daughters. Did he sacrifice Michiru too? I hope not. He even called himself an only god. Like, come on, come on, just stop, dude. Just stop, Yatoro. You're weak. Come, Bare! Ah, man, that, that was an entertaining, action packed episode. I liked it. I liked it a lot. The battle between Shiro and Takeda there was was cool because we learned a little bit more about Blue Bushi Blade Energy. That was cool though. I really I really found that interesting. Him being able to control the ele elements, water, fire, things like that. The things that are within a um, I guess a a uh, Kitetsu, right? The void part where Shiro put him in the void, and he did that one attack with like the little mini Rasengan thing. <laughs> that was also like fantastic. She was an entertaining character. I hope I hope he stays around for a while. He's a really good enemy, and I like his um his like overconfidence. His really big overconfidence. That little calf there with like Masashi and like the Shimizu band like not working together, and then the fact that like Masashi was kind of bringing everybody together. Like we need to work together as a team. And I'm glad he's realizing his weakness and he's expressing his weakness to other people and telling them I'm I know I'm weak, man, but I want to get stronger. I want to work hard. I want to get better. Now, Yatoro has combined with the, the Yamato no Orochi, and now he's like a crazy Kishin thing. That's not going to end well. He already looks like he's going berserk. Ugh. But I think I'm going to end the video here. I will see you guys around. Take care. Have a great day. And goodbye.